In this new paper in Cell Reports, uh, we focused on uh, one of the main risk factors for cerebrovascular disease and stroke. Um, one of the core, uh, core risk factors that we see in patients is uh, mild to moderate obesity. Uh, and this is uh, fairly straightforward to model in animal uh, uh, research. And so we utilized an animal model of moderate obesity uh, and sought to understand how that affected the response of the brain to small strokes. Small strokes make up about a quarter of all strokes that uh, patients come to the emergency room with. Uh, and it's important risk factor for all cause uh, cerebrovascular health as well as um, cognitive impairment and dementia. And so we were interested in identifying the interaction between this uh, fairly common a risk factor uh, that's growing in prevalence in the United States and uh, how it affects the brain during the, uh, both the initial response to the stroke and the recovery from stroke. There are three critical findings from this work. Uh, the first is that we found that in obese mice, the stroke lesion is approximately 30% larger than in normal weight mice. And what that indicates is that the brain uh, is primed for injury uh, in the setting of obesity. The second critical finding is that we used that ribotag technique to identify a key uh, inflammatory cascade that's relevant to the repair of the brain after uh, in the setting of obesity and particularly after stroke. And what we showed is that a, a specific interleukin signaling cascade activated by obesity uh, in the brain endothelial cells triggers the release of a chemokine molecule that restricts the ability of oligodendrocyte progenitor cells to respond normally to the stroke. And the third critical finding is that uh, we work to um, try to move these findings into human patients with the idea that this particular inflammatory signaling cascade might be a biomarker of worse white matter brain injury. And in fact, that's what we showed that in um, patients presenting to our emergency room uh, with symptoms concerning for an acute stroke, uh, if they had elevated levels of the interleukin signaling uh, molecule and the chemokine molecule that are released from brain endothelial cells, that they, had more, they were more likely than not to have significantly worse white matter brain injury. So in future work and follow-up of this, these exciting findings, we've now identified that the, um, the receptor for that interleukin chemokine signaling cascade uh, is upregulated after stroke uh, in the oligodendrocyte progenitor cells uh, and other glial cells that are the common elements that contribute to brain repair after stroke. And so we're right now working to better characterize that um, receptor pathway uh, and identify new therapeutic molecules that might be able to target it with the idea that even in the presence of a risk factor like obesity, we can uh, still drive brain repair uh, with a specific targeted therapy.